in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create four animated gear options infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here the first gear option comes and it is spinning you can see here slowly it is spinning and then you can add the icons here and the title and the detail text can be added and on my next click it will show me uh, the second option which is uh, rotating the counterclockwise and then the third option comes and then the fourth option comes and i have created one more slide where i have used only three options you can see here when i click it will start spinning so whichever way you want you can use it either three four five different options uh, depending on your requirement so let's see how to do this in powerpoint in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to create four animated gear options infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here the first gear option comes and it is spinning you can see here slowly it is spinning and then you can add the icons here and the title and the detail text can be added and on my next click it will show me uh, the second option which is uh, rotating the counterclockwise and then the third option comes and then the fourth option comes and i have created one more slide where i have used only three options you can see here when i click it will start spinning so whichever way you want you can use it either three four five different options uh, depending on your requirement so let's see how to do this in powerpoint Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. Under the flowchart, you can select this one, which is the flowchart terminator. Just draw it exactly in the center, maybe this much size, you can see here. Then make sure that align center and align middle and shape outline, make it no outline. And if you want to increase the size or decrease the size also, that also you can do it. Now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D, press Ctrl D, you can see it is duplicated. Again for this also I'm going to align center, align middle and then hold the Alt key and use the right arrow key in your keyboard to rotate this. So I'm just holding the Alt key and I'm going to rotate one, two and three times you need to do this. Press Ctrl D, one more it is added again Alt, one, two and three press ctrl d again again one two three you can see here i have added this one two three and uh, four this terminator uh, shapes and then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here maybe you can give some different color to identify shape outline make it no outline and then go to align center align middle the size is small i'm just going to hold the shift key again and just increase the size or you can hold the alt uh, control shift also that also you can do it you can see here i've hold the control shift key and how much size you need maybe this much size and once this is done i'm going to select all or press ctrl a to select all go to format merge shape and this merge shape is available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you're using like 2007 this is not available and in 2010 you need to enable it by going to the options so for this let me just make it a union you can see here the moment i click on the union it becomes one shape you can see here it's become one shape here now i'm going to give the outline for this one outline any color you can give and go to the shape fill and make it no fill here so you end up getting with this shape now i'm going to add uh, one oval shape in the center for that go to insert shapes select the basic shape again hold the shift key draw the shape maybe this much size and shape outline you can make it no outline and then go to align center and align middle and if you want to increase the size as i said control shift hold it and just increase it with the mouse so whichever size you want you can just add it this one now the next thing is i'm going to fill a uh, uh, gradient colors in this one so select the object right mouse click go to format shape and under fill you can see here there is a gradient fill when you click this particular option 
by default you have got four stops you can see a gradient stop there are four now if you want to keep all four or if you want to use only two it's up to you so let me just use it only two i'm just going to delete this one i'm just selecting and deleting this now the type either you want a linear or uh, some radial or different things are there so i'm just going to select the the linear and the direction whichever direction you want you can just keep it and now i'm going to select some uh, nice color combinations for this so i'm just going to select the first stop go to colors go to more colors and choose any color of your choice maybe i'm going to choose a dark purple okay and go to the second stop select it again go to the color more colors and some different color combination you can try you can see here something like this and if you want to change the direction something like this also this also can be done now if you want to give a more kind of uh, effect shadow effect and all those things that also can be done going to the effects shadows go to presets and under inner i'm just going to select you can see here inside center and you can give more blur effect here so it looks kind of a more kind of a 3d look here you can see here and once this is done you can add the text option number or detail text or you can add the icons there if you have and the detail text and the option or the title it can be added uh, below this gear option so let me just add some detailed text here i can just go to insert text box and i'm going to just say option number one center align any good font of your choice you can select it here and exactly put in the center make it bold and increase the size a little bit you can see here and then go to insert text box with the title you can add some detailed text So you can see here let me just center align i'm going to give a gray color here reduce the size and exactly put in the center now once this is done i'm just going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it and move aside here you can see here now how many options you want maybe three four or different uh, ways you want to place it it's up to you to decide so i'm going to press ctrl d you can see here if you want i can just add something like this or i can add it here again ctrl d you can see here so i'm just going to add only three and then i'm just going to make it in the center you can see here now it's very easy for me i can just uh, first of all let me just ungroup this you can see a group ungroup and then i can change the color according to my choice again go to more colors maybe i can use this uh, orange with a different color combination you can see here something like this also and for this maybe i'm going to use a combination of dark blue or with a light blue even this also looks good so here i'm just going to select maybe a color combination with green so you can see here and there are many things which you can uh, do with the color combinations so this is the option number two and this is the option number three now once this is done if you are using the latest version of uh, powerpoint then you have got the icons if you don't have the icons i have provided in my youtube channel a comprehensive uh, a list of uh, the free icons you can just go and download it from there so i'm just going to the icons and i'm going to select uh, any three icons of my choice as per the requirement so i'm just going to choose any three and click insert here and if you want you can just change the size to maybe 0.6 the height and width you can see here and then i'm just going to add one by one in the center you can see here and then i'm going to select all those three by holding the shift key and graphic fill i'm just going to make it a white so you can see here with this our uh, uh the basic design is ready and if you want you can add more options uh, uh, different ways you can place it and the last thing which we will do is the animation to add the animation let me just 
close the format background go to the animations enable the animation uh, tab you can see here the animation pane and then i'm going to select the first uh, the gear and then go to add animation under emphasis i'm going to select spin you can see here it is spinning something like this now again it is up to you whether you need a fast spinning or a slow spinning so in that case i want slow double click this and make sure that all smooth start and is all at the zero and timings you can make it maybe very slow and then repeat the end of the slide so it keeps on repeating till you move to the next slide and just click ok so you can see it started slowly moving now i can select this one go to the animation painter and just click on this one and this one i want to uh, rotate the the anti clockwise double click this we can see here this is the clockwise and this is the counter clockwise and just say okay so if i play let me just make this one with previous or i can just yeah make it previous and a delay of 0.25 seconds if i play you can see here it is playing the opposite direction and then i'm going to just select this animation painter and click on this one and make sure that this is also uh with previous and a delay of 0.5 seconds so you can see here something like this and if you want to do the animations you can do the animations for this uh, gradient fill as well That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.